What up, my party pokey peoples? It is I, Ian, here, and I got another black and white battle for you today. Today, uh, we got part two from uh, my three-part tournament series. This was a standard tournament, but everyone brought a lot of cool, unconventional pokes, so I felt confident using my RU team. But anyways, my opponent today is Steez Disease, so I hope you enjoy. It's a battle time. I'm going to go right from a crazy gym, lead off, and he's going to go for the Sharpedo lead, and go right for the Protect as I'm going to close combat, allowing him to get a speed boost. However, my Oyster Scarf crazy gym don't fuck with y'all, Sharpedos, and I'm just going to go for the close combat again, knowing that he might want to stay in, knowing he doesn't know, and he didn't know. So, now he's going to send in his level 1 Mario Probo Pass, and this was a really cool sort of... I've seen these level 1 builds before, but never seen a Probo Pass used, and very cool. He has the he has Sturdy Ability and Pain Split, which will pretty much always heal him to the top. So I was wondering how I was going to deal with this. So, sensing another Pain Split, go into my Leotard, go right for the sub, knowing, or not really knowing, because I've never encountered this situation before, but hoping Pain Split won't work under a sub. It doesn't, and I'm able to hit with the times four flare blitz as he sets up the stealth rock so I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go let his probo pass die right here go for the extreme speed don't really know why but it's gonna work he's level one they get it couldn't hurt to be flashy so go Leotard go Leotard and my Entei is gonna continue to own face as he goes for the fake out on my sub I am not going to flinch, and I'm able to get a Flare Blitz off. And I figured this would do a lot of damage because uh, Hariyama is one of those pokes that uh, has a lot of HP, but little on the defensive side. And he's going to, I assume he's got the Guts boost right here. And he's going to go for the Bullet Punch to take out my sub, but I can just kill him with another Flare Blitz, so awesome. Entei's really doing a bang up job, why cracky? but he's going to send in the Colonel with his chicken deliciousness. And he's going to just T-Bolt me. Kind of thought I would outspeed, don't really know what I was thinking. Went for the Stone Edge, but whatevs. Send out Franklin right here, and he makes a really good play. Goes into the Gastriodon, who has the Storm Drain ability and is going to get a special attack boost. So pretty much, I made a mistake. Franklin's gonna die right here, so I know this, so I just want to get rid of his uh, stealth rocks, because that, since that Probo Pass is gone, he will not be able to set up again. So Franklin, you done good. You died a premature death, but you did good, kid! But now I'm gonna go into my skinny guy. Knowing that he's probably gonna switch out right here, I go for the Leaf Storm anyway, because this is why skinny guy is so cool. He has the white herb, Restores his uh, stat drops right here, and then he's going to get the Unburdened. And I know he's got a Choice Scarf Magmortar, but he's not going to be able to outspeed my newly Unburdened Sceptile. I go for the HP Rock. It's going to take him out. He was really surprised when that happened. I was, I was pretty proud of myself. Anyways, he's going to go into the Frost Electric Rotom, and seeing as how in the last battle I completely walled this type of Rotom, I'm just going to stay in and start setting up Curses. But this is a bad idea because this is a different battle. His Rotom has Confuse Ray and Ice Beam. And through a series of me getting confused, missing right here with the Icicle Crash, and just getting Ice Beam some more, he is going to be able to take out my Tuscany, my beautiful baby boy, who's actually a girl. And so now at this point, I'm just like. Let's see how much damage we can get off on him. I'm thinking Crazy Jim will be able to get the revenge kill. But, uh... But Pilot Swine, I did you wrong in this battle. You deserve better. Keep going for the Ice Shard here, you know. Trying to get that last squeak of damage in. And I believe right here, he's not going to take me out. And I'm going to hit myself? Yes, I hit myself. What a way to go. So... Now I'm going to send in Crazy Jim. As I thought, Crazy Jim will totally be able to outspeed. Go right for the close combat. And boom! Fridge shot! Take him down. 
At this point, too, I'm like, Crazy Jim, you're dead to me. Go for the close combat, because Gastrodon his his last poke. Takes him down to the wire. He's gonna go for the Scald right here, take me out. And then I can promptly revenge kill with my Sceptile. So, great game, Steez Disease, and awesome name. Gotta say. If you like this battle, and if you want to see my humiliating defeat in the next one, please rate, comment, like, subscribe. See you later, guys.